Hi guys, I'm Christopher and this is basically everything. We're continuing right where we left off from the basic bread dough video. And if you've been following along, then you know that I'm using the same basic bread dough recipe to make all kinds of different bread. And if you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn how to make good old fashioned classic white sandwich bread. I mean, is there anything better than homemade bread? And you know what? It goes back centuries. It's been a part of the diet of mankind for a long time. In fact, there's artwork and hieroglyph that date back to Egyptian times and there's even proof from the stone age that we used to grind together grains to make cakes hey steve do you remember if we pulled the bread out of the oven oh come on troy again troy all right moving on okay let's talk about what we're going to need tools and ingredients you'll need one standard bread pan about a tablespoon of canola oil and or a half a cup of flour the next items are optional, but are used for improving the product. You'll need one oven-friendly pan and about a cup of hot water. Now that we have all the things that we need, let's get started. So if you just finished watching the basic bread dough video, then your dough should probably look like this. Great, now throw that oil in there and spread it around to the edges. You can also use flour here. Just make sure it's thoroughly coating everything. The plan is to keep the bread from sticking to the pan. Awesome. Now, lightly dust your workstation with flour. Now grab your dough and get it into the flour. We're gonna do a little more work here. We gotta go ahead and do some more kneading. About 10 minutes worth. Just start working that dough like I showed you in the dough video. Once that's all done, cover it up and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Okay, now for the next part, we gotta flatten it out. You could use a rolling pin here or you can just go ahead and use your hands. No big deal either way. All you're really trying to do is get all the air out. Great, now start rolling it up into itself, going from the short side up so it'll fit in the pan. Tuck it all in until you get a nice log. Pinch the seams together on the other side. And when you throw that into the pan, dust it with a little bit of flour, cover it up and set it aside for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now preheat your oven to about 375 degrees. Hey, remember that pan and hot water from earlier? Grab that water, throw it in the pan, and put the pan on the bottom shelf of the oven. This step is optional, but makes a better product. The steam reacts with the sugars, make it a delicious crust. Now that your oven is preheated, throw your dough in there. Set your timer for about 45 minutes, and once your house starts to smell amazing, look at what you've got. Wow, look at the size of that. Okay, I did a double batch earlier and I might have missed portion, but that's okay. You know what they say about a man with a big loaf, right? Big sandwich. Okay, anyways. Once the pan is cool enough to handle, pull it out of there. If it doesn't come out easily, it probably needs to go in for another 10-15 minutes. Now put it on the resting rack and let it hang out. Appreciate what you've done because you have just made sandwich bread. Nice work. Follow us at basicallyeverything.ca or at our Facebook page and let us know about your success stories or your not so successful stories. And I'll try to give you a hand figuring out what went wrong. Okay guys, that's basically everything. I hope you had fun. And remember, you only regret the things in life that you don't do. So have fun and try new things. Ciao. <laughs>